What's going on, y'all? <laughs> it's hammer time. What's going on, everybody? Come on up in here. Come on up in here. Let's get on in, my friends. Woo! Ooh, we did you punch that like button in the throat? Throat punch the like button. Go ahead. What's up, Rhonda? What's up, y'all? Yes, it is. How y'all? Hey, man. How did everybody's week start out? Good. I hope it was good. Woo! Eight months, Courtney. My goodness. What's up, Suzanne? Suzanne1776 was in here first tonight, y'all. Then Courtney P showing off her eight months. Like, yeah. Charlena. How you doing, Charlena? Uh-huh. Suzanne, you got six days in. You got six days in. You really got six days in. Huh? You cheating on your days. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm just messing with you. You you halfway through the battle, Suzanne. You make you make it out the first two days. You straight. <laughs> you already a weekend. One weekend. Uh huh. What's up, K seventies flower child? You know, we about to bring that hammer in here. Get this work in. What's up, Kendall Irvin? Woo! La Crystal. What's up, fam? Travis Buck. Raylena. Yes, indeed. What's up, Lucy Barreto? Uh-huh. Steven Williams. Talented T. What's up, Yolanda Baker? Miss P in the house. There she go. Suzanne. Talented T. There go Miss Ash and Myrna. What's up, Myrna? And Deb in the house. What's up, Helena? Hey, Deb, where your hammer at, Deb? <laughs> you know it. Daniel Bino. What's up, bro? Let's go. I see Miss P got her hammer with her, too. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We do. We got them hammers off the night, y'all. Because you know what? <laughs> we about to tear this, we about to tear this thing up, Joe. Y'all see the title? There you go. You already know we going in. Say Eden. What's up, Eden? What's up, Fortune? Uh-huh. Talk to us, Deb. Fortune in the house. Row it. What's up, Lady Bub? Jerry Mendoza. What's up, Rhonda Buchanan? Smash, kick the like button. Tell them to hit that like. Y'all better hit that like. Hit it. Put your elbow on it. Punch it. Smack it. What's up, Angel Nicole? How y'all feel tonight, man? I feel good. Miss Fit Basis. Elise Vice. What's up, Elise? Donna Mosley. Fiercely made. Where your hammer at? Y'all better come and hit with the hammers out. Lavetta. 
What's up, Ursula? Deb ML Marcico. What you know, Marcico? Bova D. Hart Thomas. I see you. Come on, y'all. Say Eden forever. Better get that hammer out. I see you, Misfit, got that hammer out. It's six o'clock out there, Ladybug. <laughs> What's up, Angela Grimes? Fishly made. Pull that hammer out. Everybody starts at the bottom. What's going on? We'll pull that hammer out. That's what's going on. Case Team Couture. What's up, Case Team? Woo, Stephanie Bell. Ha, ha, ha. All the way from the Netherlands. You in the Netherlands, Stephanie? Hey, y'all, let's show Stephanie some love because it's like 3 in the morning over there. What's up, Rosalind? Rosalind got her hammer out. Ready. <laughs> Glenn Glenn. What's up, Glenn Glenn? Where your hammer at? Very good day, Alice. Pull that hammer out. Trina got her hammer out. What's up, Helena? Where that hammer at? What's up, Michelle? The Beast, eight months. The Beast got eight months. Pull that hammer out, Beast. Hey, Lisa. Going on five weeks. Helena said I'm back. Bring your hammer with you, Helena. You got Lisa. Lisa all got five weeks almost. Man, you got this. You all did fourth. That fifth one is easy. That's you over. You got that thing licked now. Michelle Wilkes. Go ahead. Flores got her hammer out. What's up, Evader? Evader Thomas, put that hammer out. Christina Laos. Dana Brown. Maria. You in the UK? Uh-huh. Welcome to the huddle. You better, everybody new to the huddle, you got to have your hammer out. You better bring your hammer out. Uh-oh, the beast got caught in two days. Better get ready. My main man, Will, what's up, Will? What's going on, champ? How you feel, baby? Yeah. Yeah, man, hey, Will, pull that hammer out, champ. Yeah, we got to get the hammer out because, uh, Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Hold up. Uh-huh. What's up, LaShawn? LaShawn, we want to see you with that hammer out. I need y'all to get them hammers in the air. <laughs> Lucy Barretto got 30 days in. What's up, Lucy? Lucy says she has got this thing together. Whoa, Helena got four years. What's up, Rowan? Today? Rowan, did I have something with you today? I know I sent somebody an uh, email. They ain't sent me back. What's up, Ladybug? Rhonda, Miss Ash, Jennifer, Ursula, LaRonda. Say Eden. My main man, Ken. Ken, it's hammer time, Ken. Tell him, hey, Angel Nicole. No contact forever. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go. Three months. There you go. There you go. Woo! That's right, Glenn Glenn. What's up, Eric? What's up, champ? Big Heart 521. Miss Ash, tell him. Miss Ash, where your hammer at? Charlena, 
Charlene always coughing on the elbow. <laughs> Empaths in the building. Empaths in the building. Y'all better get out the way. Y'all better get out the way. Empaths in the building. Hammers on deck. About to drag this narc. Do you hear us? <laughs> Go ahead. That's right, DMV in the house, Trina. Tell them again, Trina. Look, Crystal, what's up, Keisha Diggs? Jason spinning. I go Glow 60 Glow. Glow 60. What's up? Where Kathy O at? Where is Kanita and Adrian Kern? A Kern call. <laughs> Impasse calling current. Where's current at? What's up, Lucy Barreto? Leandra, Miss Crosby. Say, this is my third or fourth. Okay. Woo. Hey, Miss Crosby, we're going to give it to you. Yes, indeed. Our white, our wise, our Z's. Hey, man, I tried. I tried, dog. Welcome to the huddle, Brent. Pull that hammer out. Y'all better pull. Bring the hammer with you. Tell them, Deb, Charlena, LaRonda. Woo! Ah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, Helena. Ooh. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'll be doing this all night. Be doing this all night, and we got ground to cover this evening, ladies and gentlemen. We got some ground to cover. What y'all think about that incredible, the incredible title of tonight? What y'all think about that? I know some of y'all got to be reminiscing because I was like, dang, ain't that something? Ain't that something how the person that you love the most is the one that always take you through the most? Ain't that something? The one you did everything you could do. You did everything you could do for them. Yes, we did. We did everything we could do. Would they give us back? They said, man, whatever. That I didn't ask you to do that. You ain't do that for me. You did that for you. Whoo, boy, we going to drag this monster tonight. For all of y'all that heard something like that, let's put it in the huddle. Yeah, 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 let's put it in there because... We dragging this monster tonight. You know, they they are so selfish. They're so selfish that when you do, when you do things for them, because you want to see them with nice things. And you want to do nice things for them. And they will take that nice deed and throw it right in your face like, you ain't do nothing for me. I ain't asked you for that. You did that because you want to do that. That ain't something I wanted. And I'm saying, who but a narc would be just that unappreciative about anything? Really? Who would be that unappreciative about anything? I, I ain't asked you for that. Like I said, y'all, the person, the one that you do the most for, that's painful right there. The one you cared for the most. You wanted to see them in a better place than they wanted to even see themselves. You wanted to see them with everything that they want. You wanted to see them happy. And they laughed at it. They mocked you. They mock you for thinking about them first. 
Woo, man. Yeah, we going in tonight, y'all. Angela Grimes. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Angela. Angela said, I'm ready to share. <laughs> Don't you know that Nog made a social media profile four days after, after he met his new supply and a month before he left? Just trifling. So he went and made him a new Facebook. <laughs> oh, man. And they do that. You know they do that. Y'all know they do that. Angela said he was spying on me the whole time. <laughs> so I shut it down. <laughs> no contact since 929. Go ahead. Go ahead. And that's where you want to stay. That's where you want to stay. You know, you want to stay no contact. You want to just, just like, let's get up out of that. It's, it's, it's too much better out there. Not just that there's something better. It's too much that's better out there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Guys, I'm going to tell y'all. Sometimes we get caught up, really, and I mean, we really get caught up. <laughs> That's right, light and love, warrior. You see me doing it. Sometimes, man, we get caught up, y'all. First, guys, let's all, everybody in here, let's hit that like button. We got to hit the like, you know. YouTube loves it when y'all hit the like. Unless everybody know they engaged. Yes. Participate. We have to participate. But yeah, guys, you know, I thought about that title today. You know. Wow, the beast said mine took the house and the car. And now... Is homeless and carless. Woo. They get it back. I, most of us, do we think that they don't get it back. We be thinking, now I'm going to tell y'all, even though mentally you know that that narc ain't no good, mentally you know that they ain't no good. Guys, y'all know they ain't no good. You know they ain't no good. But at the same time of them not being any good, Y'all know what? Sad part of it is, is that we still have this thought, you know, we still have this thought that somehow, <laughs> somehow they're treating somebody good somewhere. We really believe that, y'all. We really believe that somehow, even though we've seen them, we have seen that they ain't no good. And I know, I, I guess a lot of times we wonder, so how is it that they making it with the other person, right? If they ain't no good, if what you're saying is true, Harry, yo, why are they still with the other person, right? Good question. Why are they with the other person still? They're with the other person for the reason that they're not with you. They're with the other person because the other person is still having it. They're still they're with the still with the other person because it's not that the other person can't see the manipulation, because they see it and they feel it. The other per listen, the new person is in a they're in what we would call a state of shock and awe. They're in a state of shock and awe. The new supply is still trying to figure out. I know you're not gonna try me 
like you just tried your ex. I know you know you're not trying me like that. See, they're still stuck right in that phase right there. The new supply is saying, no, nah, they're not going to do to me. You're not going to do to me what you did to your ex. The new supply truly believes it cannot happen to them. Even though they see it happening to them the same way you saw it happening to you. See, you think that the narc and the new supply, you're wondering, well, why are they making it with that person? If they not no good, how were they making it with you? And they wasn't no good. They were only making it with you because you were having it. You was having it. You were saying, hey, okay, okay, I'll put up with that. Okay, I'll put up with that too. All right, and you know what? I'm going to put up with this too. Okay, okay, and, and, and some of this too. So, uh, yep, yep, I, I, I put up with everything. And you're putting up with all of this stuff because you're thinking. You're thinking nobody else will put up with all this. That's what you're thinking to yourself. You take yourself on a crazy ride. You take yourself on a crazy ride. Jazzy. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Jazzy. Jazzy Underground International. Appreciate you. That's in-house love being sent out of town. My goodness. Man, I love this whole huddle. Y'all thinking that you putting up with something that nobody else is going to put up with. That's why most of us deal with the narc in the first place. The, or that's why you ended up in something extended with the narc. Because you feel like I'm putting up with something that nobody else is going to put up with. That's what you're feeling like. That's what you're feeling like. But the thing you're not looking at is, is that that's the same thing the new supply is looking at. Same thing. What's up, Kathy O? Sun Cat? It's the new supply is looking at the same thing, y'all. They're saying, I'm going to deal with it because your ex couldn't deal with it. They have the same mindset. And the mindset is, I'll deal with it because I know nobody else in their right mind is going to deal with this. I'm telling y'all, that's exactly what, that's the exact reason that the narc and the new supply are still together. They're not in there saying, oh man, I just love you so much. This is so incredible. This is the best thing that ever happened in my life. You're such a great person. You're such a wonderful person. You're just incredible. That's not what they're saying. That's not what they're doing. They are strictly there for one reason. They're only there to show the narc, I can put up with more of your mess. I can put up with more bull than your ex can put up with. Your ex can't handle all your bull. Not like me. And now you and the new supply in a competition to see debating of who put up, who will put up with the most mess. Not, and, and it never was who gets to receive an incredible relationship with an incredible person. That's never even been an option. But that's what the narc made y'all both think. That's what the narc wants you to think. That, oh no, 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 no. I, I'm worthy of being, you know, I'm worthy of being treated in a good way. I'm worthy of, of your best treatment. That's what we want the narc to think. The reason that the narcissist is still with the new supply is because the new supply is still in the, I can take more punishment than your ex 
stage. Okay? That's the stage they're at. I can take that. Oh, you cheating on me too? I can take that. I ain't going to trip like the ex. I'm telling y'all, that's all it is. That's all it is. They not sitting somewhere in bliss. Who could sit around next to a narc all day and be happy? Everybody in this huddle has tried it. Everybody in the huddle has tried it. Everybody in here has tried being happy with a narc. How, anybody succeed? Anybody? Going once, going twice. There you go. <laughs> Shana Marie said, my narc tries to come back and I am assuming he can't get any new supply. He can't get that same level. See, that's the other side. I'm glad you said that, Shana. Shana, thank you. I'm so glad you said that because, guys, whether y'all believe this or not, I've I, I been told y'all, man, that narc can't, you can't just run to 7-Eleven. You can't run to the corner store and get supply of somebody that already dealing with your mess, right? But somebody that's dealing with your mess and is still an upgrade too. Somebody that's about something too. That ain't that ain't easy to find out here, y'all. Because most people who got it, most people who have it together, don't just feel sorry for somebody, and they're gonna let them just you know take them through all this craziness because they feel sorry for them. And I'm telling y'all, man, I, I talk to y'all, I, I watch what you're saying, and I've done it myself. The only reason you're dealing with that is because you feel sorry for that person. And that's what keeps the new supply there. The new supply feels sorry for them too. The new supply feels like, oh man, you know, I already took him or her from the new dude, from their, from their ex. So, you know, where would they be without me right now? You know, and then they done told them all the struggles they had with you. They lied. Listen. The narcissist lied on you. They lied on you. That's why the, and that's part of the attraction that the new supply has to them because they were lying on you, talking crazy about you in the first place. Y'all don't think that, they, see, in our minds somewhere, you're thinking there's no way that they would lie like that. Everything they told the new supply, almost everything has been a lie about you. Even the parts where they told truth, they still told a lie in the, in that conversation. They told a, a lie in the statement. They're never going to give anybody a complete truth. Never. Miss P. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Miss P. Miss P said, yeah, that was a bitter pill to swallow. Except the devil was really trying to destroy me. Except the, yeah. That's a rough one right there, ain't it? That's rough, y'all. When the person you love betrays you. Man, that's, and that's why it's so hard to disconnect. Because the person you care about more than anybody on this planet has betrayed you. They have said, no, 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 I don't want to go nowhere and I ain't going to do nothing with you. And nah, they said flat out, I ain't doing it. They said flat out, I ain't doing it. Nope. Mm, mm, mm. Hold up. I don't want to lose this. Mm. 
There we go. Miss P said, I kept replaying the love bomb stage. Couldn't believe it was the same person. But actions. <laughs> Say, but actions lie. <laughs> Say, it's, hey, hey Miss P, you were sitting there thinking, it's no way this person is trying me like this. It's no way you trying me like that. No way. I'm not believing it. I'm not even going for it. And yes, yes, that's the same joker, the same prankster. Yes, it is. Everybody starts at the bottom. Mwah, thanks for the super chat. Woo! She said, I took mine on a cruise in 2018, and when he discarded me, he told me he didn't want to go. Wow. I ain't want to go. That was something you wanted to do. Say, how you going on the cruise and put me, how you going on the cruise and put me behind in life? <laughs> yeah. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. You sit back and make all these sacrifices, man, because you like, baby, I just want to, Man, y'all know how a narc knows that one thing that's important for you is they looking at your love language and on top of your love language, they're looking at, I know what it would mean to you to be able to get on a nice cruise together and we just in the room and we just it's romantic and, and, and at night, you doing them cruises, you know, at night, you looking off the side of the boat and the moon is hitting the moonlight, hitting the water. And you and your bae just sitting out there on the balcony, y'all talking and and and, and y'all just doing y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? You're doing your thing. And you loving it. Because in your mind, you're like, man, this is what I've been living for. I've been waiting for this. And, and guess what they thinking? Why are you on there with them? You you already y'all already know where I'm going with it. Y'all already know where I'm going with it. You thinking about them? They thinking about the, the the five other people they already got in their lineup, and one of them is really on their heels. One of one of their other supplies is really in close proximity, y'all. Yes, indeed. Damn. <laughs> My main man, Mark. What's up, Mark Aiken? Mark said, we drove eight hours for a getaway. And as soon as we got there, she said, man, I want to go home. Huh? Because she knew. She knew that you wanted that memory. Listen, a narc knows you want that memory. You want to create some beautiful memories, some good times. That narc is going to make sure, nah, nah, nah. I'll go on a trip with you, but it ain't going to be no good time. No, nah, it ain't going to just be no fun. Delisha Green. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Delisha. Delisha said, father abandoned me 45 years ago. Never looked back until recently. He lies, gaslights, and resents me for knowing who he is. Woo, so he ain't worth a damn. Wow. 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 Man, that's sad. That's sad. You know, that's sad, you know, because the thing about it is, you know, a child never knows. A child does not know. A child has nothing to do with the arguments that their parents got into. The child just wants a happy life. That's it, y'all. The child just wants to be happy. The child ain't got nothing to do with mommy and daddy can't get along. And I'm saying, why can't we just, man, I don't understand why we can't just say, can that be a safe place? Can the child be a safe place for both people? Whoo, man. Mm, mm, mm. 
Andrea Phillips. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Andrea. Andrea said, three months post breakup, we were keeping in touch because he wanted to do counseling. Whew. Never did it. Well, you're lucky because you didn't waste that time or that money. Whew. So I've been no contact for three weeks. He hasn't reached out. Woo, feel like I'm falling apart. You ain't falling apart. You already made it. You got three weeks. Listen, listen, guys, we be wanting to go to counseling and we be thinking that counseling going to do it and it's going to get us. Come on, baby. We can make it in. You go into counseling. You go into counseling and what you going for? For him to admit that he's dogging you? Huh? You think he want to stand in front of a third person that's going to tell him he's some some garbage? Do y'all really think that does somebody want to hear that in counseling? That he going to go in there and just tell the truth? Oh, yeah, Doc, uh, you know, I ain't no good. You know, and I cheat a lot, and I'm going to need some money off her sometimes, too. You think he going in there and tell the, tell, tell the counselor that? Huh? You want him to reach out. That's why he ain't reaching out. He know you want him to reach out. I told y'all, man. <laughs> y'all want that narc? <laughs> y'all want to see a narc that won't leave you alone? Man, cut that fool off. Block that fool. Block them. I know it's hard. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be painful. You're not supposed to feel good after you have denied your spirit what you are denying it. It's not supposed to feel good, people. It's not. Andrea, it's not. It's not supposed to feel good right now. It's supposed to be painful. Because... You're trying to do something with somebody that's showing you that they, he ain't the best for you. He's telling you he is not the best for you. He's no in no position, and he ain't even trying. He got something else going on, and you know it, and you see it. And I know that right there is hurt. That's hurtful. I understand that, but guess what? Guess what, y'all? The narc is cheating, everybody. Your narc is cheating. OK, but guess what? That's the worst thing they could ever do to you. You survived. You made it through that. That's it. It doesn't get worse than that. That's the worst thing they can do to you. That's it. OK, you think, see what you're thinking is you keep putting yourself in their shoes. You keep trying to act like you are the narc and y'all think alike. And you're not, and you don't think alike. You're thinking, no, nah, they're going to go with somebody else, and somebody else going to be happy, and, and they're going to get love bombed, and, and, and they're going to they be happy ever after. A, a narc star cheat? Stop cheating? So you, you think that you, had, you got the first narc. That's what y'all think. You found the first narc on this planet, you found a, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> you found the first narc on this planet. First narc on the planet. That don't cheat. That's, that's monogamous now. They was cheating on you the whole time, and now they monogamous. They done gave up all of their sorry, no good, trifling ways. Out of all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, now they're cured of narcissists. They're not a narcissist anymore. You know, they're, they're good people now. You know, they, they went to church and got saved. They went to a counseling session. Whoa, and they brand new again. And they doing all this for this new person. They buying gifts. They doing stuff they wouldn't do for me. Because they know you watching. Because they know you watching. I told y'all, y'all better make the y'all better do to the narcissist what 50 Cent did to Ja Rule, okay? 50 Cent bought all the tickets on the floor to a Ja Rule concert. 
all he said he wanted the first 50 rows back. <laughs> you know why? Because he knew you walk out, any performer walk out there and it ain't nobody in the first 50 rows. That whole show is a bust. That's a bust. Okay? The whole rest of the arena could have been full, but without that first 50 rows, I don't care what artist is performing. They are not, you thrown off the whole night. You can have just the 50 rows filled and you good with them people right there. But everybody except them, you can't do it. Y'all keep watching the narc show. Late at night, y'all want to I want to see what they're doing. It's eating me up. I want to see what they're doing. And it ain't never good. You all y'all looking on their page, it ain't never good. It ain't ever good. You never come back with good information. It's always something to just send you down another rabbit hole and make you feel horrible. My main man, True Two. Thanks for the super chat, champ. True Two said the new supply found out real fast. Most of y'all don't believe this. Y'all don't believe that the, the new supply actually knows because you're like, well, why are they staying there like that? The same reason you was. You were staying there too. You just got to a point where you said, nah, I ain't doing this no more. That's all. That's the only difference between you and the new supply. The difference between you and the new supply was you decided, I ain't doing this no more. That, that's it. I can't go no further. The new supply has not reached their breaking point yet. That's all. Tutu said the ex <laughs> the ex narc tapped all his resources. Whoo, they're gonna do that. Then she got him a DWI. Wow. From this year into next year through the holidays. DWI, y'all. Whoo! Yeah, he he gonna feel that one. He gonna feel that one. Guys, y'all, we've got to get into a better, we've got to get into a place where we're not letting that stuff eat us up like it is. That's all they got. I just gave y'all their hardest punch. The hardest punch a narc can ever give you is betrayal, everybody. Right here. The one that you did the most for. That's why it's so painful because it's the one that you cared about the most. The one you cared about the most betrayed you. That's the one who got you. That's the one who got you and it's eating you up. And I get it. I get it because you feel like, man, dang, how, how did we get there? How did it turn this way? I did everything for you, and this is what I get. Woo, what you say, Kathy? Oh, they worry because other supplies are getting mad because they're gone. Mm. Don't think the new supply is gonna stay new forever. They don't. And don't get me wrong, you got some supplies that don't care. They don't care. And I'm saying this, y'all. If you're going to compare yourself to somebody who says, I will let this narc drag me, punish me, talk down to me, treat me like trash, filth, and everything else, let me cheat on them, let them cheat on them and everything else just to keep them with them. If you're going to compare yourself to that, then you got a long road in this. You got a long road in this. Come on, everybody. Let's keep the engagement up. Let's keep the engagement up. Everybody who came in late, hit that like button. Facebook want to see us talking on here. I'm sorry, YouTube. Google wants to see us engaged. Hit that like button, everybody. <clears throat> Natasha. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Natasha. Natasha said, I've been no contact for one month. I also blocked all of his friends and family, too. He can't control me anymore. I'm free. And guess what, y'all? 
Y'all see how she said that? Blocking everybody. Blocking everybody. Hey, Natasha, I ain't going to lie to you. I hadn't been like that at first, but that's how I'm getting now. As I see them, man, I start, I start blocking too. Because, guys, at the end of the day, you know, it's like, Man, they're they not going to be for everybody. It's not going to be for everybody. Their friends, some of them, it might they might be cool with you. So, you know, it's all on you to pick who you want to pick. As long as nobody is bringing that nonsense to you, then that's cool. But if anybody that violates and start want to come over and talk and tell you this, that, and whatever, now they can go. They can go. Because... You know, you're not out here to trying to defend yourself against them too. After that, knocked them went and lied about you on everything. My well, man, True Two said, "You get into trouble with the law. The knock ain't waiting around. The knock moving on to the next one. Hey, True Two, she already was gone to the next one." Ain't not, guys, y'all be thinking, see, a narc wants you to think. This is the other thing, guys. They want you to think. They really want you to think that they've gone, they changed their life. That's how you know what you're dealing with right there. Like, wow, this ain't how they treated that. This wasn't how they was acting with me. Oh, see, to the narc, it's all about game. It's all about game. Let me make you believe. I'm going to make you believe that it was you were the problem. And now that I got with this person, now I'm happy. You were the problem. Mm -hmm. Guys, they're still doing the same thing to the new supply. That's who they are. That's who they are. And, it's, and that's the bottom line. That's who they are. That's who they are. Say Eden Forever said he doesn't want counseling because they don't think nothing is wrong with them. Wow, ML Marcico said, hell no, he brainwashed the therapist. <laughs> Carol Queen said they destroy holidays and birthdays and everything. And y'all know holiday season coming up, y'all. Holiday season is coming. Guys, we in the next two weeks, y'all know it'll be – I'm sorry, next three weeks. It'll be um, Thanksgiving. In the next three weeks, my birthday. <laughs> and yes, yes, guys, they are – it's coming. It's coming. Dragon said, whoa, he'll turn the counselor on you. Guys, when y'all get in there with that counselor, I'm telling you, you're, you're dealing with somebody who literally has a master's degree in acting. Okay? They're going to manipulate the room. Well, Kanita said, hard pill to take without water, how many, how they hate you and only come to destroy you when they don't even have to know you. And that's the thing. You don't even mind letting them thing go, except the fact that they like, they're not going to leave you alone. They want to stay around to see what you are doing. Guys, that's what y'all don't see though. The narc wants to see it's not enough for them to leave you for somebody else. They think that that's supposed to break you. That is supposed to destroy you. They leave you for somebody new. That's supposed to destroy you. And it didn't. It didn't destroy you. It is supposed to destroy you. And it doesn't. And guess what? Because it doesn't, that narc is stuck. The narc is stuck when they cannot destroy you. They are stuck. 
when it doesn't work for them, guys, they are stuck. They are wondering, well, hold it, hold it, hold it. You, 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 you made it through that? As bad as I dogged you? And I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, that's why I call them what I call them. Listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all, male and female, those male and female narcs are the dirtiest. They are the most trifling, treacherous monsters you are ever going to deal with in your life. You will never have a worse experience in your life than dealing with that monster. You will never have a worse experience in your life than dealing with something that's sorry that trifling you're not you're not there is nothing in creation worse than a narcissist nothing there is nothing in creation that's worse than a narcissist and i'm telling y'all you can you can sit back and you we we all have thought that you know there there are things that we can do and we can try to manipulate the situation and, and, and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be perfect this time. This time I'm gonna be perfect. Somehow I'm gonna be perfect. Somehow. Yeah, you did all that, right? You did all that. And it still didn't work. It still didn't work. Why? Why is it still not working? Why? Because there you go, Rachel. That's all we got. That's all we got. Tiffany Jones said, we got to block them, y'all. And you do. You got to block them. Man, y'all got, you got to keep your distance, man. You got to say a safe distance away from a narcissist, y'all. I'm not telling you to stay away from them because... You know, we got to go out here and prove we stronger than them. No. No. That's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> Crazy Chris said, I'm praying for the NOS next victim. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Andrea. Andrea said he left our home to stay with parents just because he didn't have the freedom to hang with his friends. I pass by his friends, and he's always there. I don't get it. Oh, you said I pass by his parents, and he's always there. I don't get it. Because you're trying to get it. You're trying to understand it. You're trying to understand what his move is. See, what he did, what, what he made you think he had, it wasn't really there like he, like that. A narcissist, really, guys, again, they're using the energy that we build them up on. They're taking, you know, when they can come home to you and treat you like anything, like you don't matter, they use that same energy. It, they use that for their confidence to talk to the other supply. You know, and if you pass by his parents' house, he's always there. Hey, I say he wouldn't stay home with you, but he get over there with his parents because his mom and them ain't having it. <laughs> you was having it. Moms and them saying, look here, nah, champ, you run that little bull crap somewhere else, but you ain't running it in here. Nah, nah, you're a grown man, and you go ahead and be a grown man with these women in your place or their place. See, when he home with you, he get to be a man-man. Yeah, that's the difference. 
Crazy Chris, thanks for the super chat, champ. <laughs> Crazy Chris said, man, I'm praying for the Narc's next victim. <laughs> there you go. Words, words can change the world. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell you guys, man. Woo-wee. This stuff is just, man. True, too. Thanks for the Super Chat, champ. Say it all starts out with fun and excitement until you figure out the Nars game. That's it, y'all. That's it. My man dropping it right here. It all starts out as fun and game, but at the beginning, it's that excitement that really pulls you in. But when you figure out the Narcs game, wow, and you don't want to participate anymore in that child's play anymore because you're real. Mm, mm, mm. And you don't want to play in it no more. Woo, wow. Uh, Andrea said, why do they stop your and pop up on your social media if they don't want to be with you? Because they is they lying. That's why. I keep trying to tell y'all, but it's like you're watching somebody who treats you like dirt, but then they want to know everything you're doing. Like, why are you all up on me, man? Back up. Back up off me since you ain't you ain't trying to be with me, man, then beat it. Get up on my face, but they know you're not gonna you're not gonna cut them off. That's why they're doing all that. Natasha, mwah, thanks for the super chat, Natasha. Natasha said he tried to destroy me by cheating with my wow, cheating with my chicken head neighbor. I'm thriving and got a uh, got promoted at work. Say, hey, boy, bye, man, beat it, man, beat it. Nobody got time for none of that. And that's what that's what gets you right there, man. You be sitting back like, dang, man, like, is it possible to just be happy with you? You got to, man, I'm going to tell you, it ain't, it ain't a whole lot more disrespectful than, than dirty neighbors, too. Because your neighbor saw you. Your neighbor saw y'all out there. Carolyn Pula said, the new supply is my, is my key to freedom. Woo. But them dirty neighbors, man, there's some dirty neighbors out here that will get right with that same thing, y'all. What's up, hot dog? Lisa Smith. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Lisa. Woo. Words can change the world. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat. Words can change the world said, Narc Hoover me on LinkedIn. <laughs> I don't want to be enemies. <laughs> oh, I can go sign up for an apartment for you, buy your furniture, because I made whoo, because I made you give up yours and got a new girl claiming he in love. Oh man. Look. Look, you already know, man. You already know. He claiming he in love. All right, let, let, let him go. Let him go. He'll be back. He'll be back. They always come back. They always come back. I don't want to be enemies. Why? He got somebody new. Why is he worrying about you? He feels sorry for you? Now he feels sorry for you. That's why he want to be your friend. He want to be normal. Nah, see, maybe he knows that this situation ain't going to turn into what, he, what he's telling you it's going to be. He already knows it. He already sees it. And he's saying, that's this is just his way of saying, hey, look, uh, I'm going to still hang right here. You know, we can still be friends if you want. All right? I ain't gone nowhere. I'm just trying this person out right now. That's all. I'm a, She going to throw me away because I'm cheating on her with this person over here, and she don't even know about it. She don't even know what's coming. 
I'm trying to, I'm just trying to tell you how they think. This is real life with them. <laughs> What's up, K Sertif? Thanks for the super chat. I'm just trying to tell y'all that's how they truly are. <laughs> we say true too, say, yeah, you play right in here or you get out. One of the two, y'all. That's right, LaRonda. They are all demons. You're dealing with the devil. You're dealing with the you dealing with the devil. You if that ain't the devil, who the hell is? Please, somebody show me. Come in here and prove it. <laughs> April Moore said, How you 40 living at home with your mother in a box full of room? And ain't never had your own place. Please explain. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I, I was I was in a session the other night talking about that. Like, man, listen, ladies, you're dealing with a dude that's 40. You 40, bro. You 40 years old. At 40, and you ain't never even ventured out. Why? Why you, you have 40 years and just get a job, just a regular job. You don't need no great job to get your own place. Maybe you got a good job. Woo. Lisa Smith, thanks for the super chat. Lisa said, I don't want nothing to do with him or his family. And they don't, <laughs> and they thought we was doing Thanksgiving. Hell no. <laughs> you should have said that with your throat out. Like, and hell no. Giving y'all nothing. Give no Thanksgiving. I told y'all Thanksgiving coming. Thanksgiving is coming. I'm trying to tell you. Thanksgiving is coming. Woo. <laughs> Thanks, T. Tatiana. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat. Say, I wish I found you sooner. <laughs> hey, look here. Somebody got to break it down. We got, we got to have a place we can go and figure this foolishness out, man. You got to have a place where you can really figure this out, y'all. Because these jokers, they fill in your head with stuff that's not going to go through. Listen, when you when somebody tells you something and you can agree with it, then you accept it, you soak it in, and it's like it makes you feel like you learned something. When you're dealing with a narc, they're telling you stuff that's continuously looping around inside your head, and that's why you feel so crazy. Because you know everything they're saying is either allowed. It just ain't making no sense. You already know it is. Woo. Okay, sir, they said, my guy professed his love for another woman to me in front of her. All right, y'all. Y'all hear this? This fool professed his love for another woman in front of her. That's See, that's where you got into a discard and the narc has just gotten totally disrespectful. Like, look, this is who I'm with. I, and we, and I'm, I love her. Get over it. Then he moved in with her and her two children. And she... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I told y'all, man. I told y'all, you can't make this stuff. <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up, people. She moved him in with her and her kids, and she's married. <laughs> Who could God? They just said, I don't need no work. She said, I don't look. I'll get divorced one day. 
You the you the daddy now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, you can't make this mess up. You can't make nothing up that pathetic. How you gonna be how you gonna be more pathetic than that? This fool out on the middle of the street, I love her. Okay, but but you know what? You know what? The funny thing is going to be when he come back talking about, baby, I, I made a mistake. You know, I she she was tripping. You know, I know I was wrong, but man, she was tripping. Baby, I know I shouldn't have did it. He's going to come back with some old fabulous story about how, you know. Oh, my goodness, man. Guys, you can't make this up. And you know what? I'm so glad that, that, that so many people are now starting to share. Because, guys, that's what helps so much. When you get to see what's really going on on the other side. Y'all want to be a fly on the wall where y'all get to be that right here. You get to see what they're really doing on the other side. Wow, Myrna said the new supplier is trying to buy him with money. Wow, so he won't hoover me. <laughs> he needs her money. <laughs> He's still gonna be back. Hey, Myrna, there is no such thing as a narc that won't hoover. Whoo, man, I don't make the rules, guys. I don't make the rules. He'll be back. All of y'all. Guys, they coming back. Y'all better be strong when they get back, though. Because guess what? They not coming back for nothing good. Wow, Quatavia said, always comes back. I literally had to look through the peephole every time he knocks so, so he know I'm purposely ignoring him. <laughs> Say, I'm happy he stopped. After the sixth visit to my door in a week, he's just slowing it down because he has that injury now. He knows that you know. He knows that you know. And that's an injury. There go, Haka. Haka. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Haka. <laughs> Linnell said, like, it's a hobby. <laughs> Haka said, we were walking through the neighborhood holding hands, and he let me, wow, he let me, he let my hand go because a girl, female neighbor was out there, and he complimented one in front of me. We walk around the neighborhood holding hands. Wow, man. Wow. Because in his mind, just that fast. That 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 shows you how they could. You can see. You can be holding hands. Y'all could be in your mind. You're somewhere in a blissful situation, and he's thinking, "Man, hold up a second, baby. Uh, I gotta. Uh, I gotta tie my shoe real quick. Hold up, because he got to say something to that other one. They can't. They cannot. Listen. They cannot just leave other people alone and. Just, just stick with what they got right there. They can't do it. That's not who they are, y'all. Jason Spinner says, Satan's representative. Yes, indeed. Woo, hey, Charlie Baltimore. Do you say, do they think? <laughs> Woo, man. Guess what? Hey, Charlie Baltimore, they are preying on you being a thinker. Yeah. Yeah, every time they throw something crazy out there, they hoping you think about it instead of reacting to it. Yeah, they hoping that you think about it. Say so you went through the same thing, Miss P. That's right, Tiffany. They want our soul. They want your soul for real, man. They want your soul for real. That's no joke. Mm, Lisa Smith, mm, thanks for the super chat. <sighs> Lisa said, I'm being stalked by my narc. 
Why can't he just disappear? I will. <laughs> Say, I will never be able, I will never be able to, I will never, never, ever. <laughs> Whoo, so I'll never be, ever be able to be with him. Even if he was the last man, he was the last, he was the last one. The last one. Ain't that, you know what's sad, y'all? I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I'm going to tell y'all something about the narc. In this statement right here, and, I, and I'm telling y'all, I thought this when I was dealing with a narc. I was thinking to myself, like, if we was the last people on the planet, that narc would not be true. If we were the last two people on the planet, that narc could not still be in a monogamous relationship because they're going to cheat some type of way. Mentally, some, they'd be cheating with a fish, an animal, something. The dirt, any, they would draw a figure of a person in the, in the ground. A narcissist is not going to be devoted to you. I don't care if you're the last person. Y'all the only two people in the universe. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it's Troy from April. RS said he's 61 and she's 49. <clears throat> Say, so Carolyn said he dang would have carried over a minefield. Yeah. Haka. Thanks for the super chat. Haka said the narc cheated, begged me to come back after I ignored him, started an argument, and disappeared for two weeks. Then text me and said, Glad to see you alive. Glad to see you alive. <laughs> Like, uh, where you been? <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. They disappear. They disappear and say, glad to see you alive. What did he think I was going to do? You know what he really thought you was going to do, Haka? You know what he wished that you did? He wished that you had no in intellect, and he wished that you would just be quiet and take it. Let me go run off, disappear for a few weeks, and then come back like ain't nothing happened. That's what he really was hoping. Guys, that narc really is hoping that you have no cares about your relationship. When they are, when they are totally consumed with this new supply, it is a drug to the narc. And they are all in no matter what that drug is going to do to them. They don't even care. They don't care. You too. Thanks for the super chat, champ. <clears throat> Say, you too said you make the knock hurt by showing them that. They ain't stop nothing. They ain't stop nothing. Woo, man. Don't show them that, y'all. Hey, true too. I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't going to say don't do that. We here to drag this joker. That's right. <laughs> when you show them they ain't stop nothing. Mm. See, that shows them their true value in your life. When they didn't stop anything. You're better and greater without them. Showing the narc <clears throat> that they didn't break you. And they didn't. They did not break you. Miss Crosby. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Miss Crosby. Trina Valentine. Mwah. Thanks for the super thanks for the super chat, Trina. Trina said, my narc was put out of a five-bedroom, four-bathroom home, AMG Mercedes, and a Maserati for the garage. Woo! But he chose to cheat on me. <laughs> So you rather cheat, bro? You living like this? Hmm? And you just want to go ahead and try your hand. 
And, and, and you know what's sick about that? Is that he was looking at it like they really get the impression that they put all that together. They do. And when they, you know, he driving around in that in that Mercedes or that Maserati, like, yeah, baby, you know, he really was feeling himself. He was really feeling himself like that's what he put together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Keep it right there. Keep him right there. Keep him right there. That's what I'm saying, y'all. We do so much. See how we just give freely. We don't mind. We like, man, we, we, we love the person and we want them to have the best. You know what I'm saying? And this is a perfect example of that. We want the beautiful home with them. We want the nice cars with them. We want all of these things and we want to look good with the narc. But y'all know what the narc is thinking? While y'all driving down the street and people admiring your nice ride, the narc is thinking, man, wait till I drop you off so I can go grab one, a few of these. That's how they think, y'all. Man, and you just sitting in there like, like, come on, man. Really? You sitting there like, come on, man. We working together. Let's grind. Let's build together. And they like, nah, nah, you can do all the building. I'm going to destroy. <laughs> Hands with Golden Dove said, why do their minds switch? Nah, it ain't that it switches. Well, it does switch. But it switches because they just showing you who they were the whole time. That's all. Helena, mwah, thanks for the super chat. Helena said, mine said, I'm nothing to him. Left me four years later. He's begging me at my job to remarry. <laughs> I said, I love you being nothing to you. I love being nothing to you. Let's keep it right there. Whoo. Hey, Helena. Yeah, you smoked this boost with that one. He wasn't ready for that one. Like, nah, I like it like this. <laughs> Woo, man. And, and guess what? Helena, he cannot get the upper hand back. Guys, y'all just don't know. The narc only comes back because they want that upper hand back. When you really lead them alone, that gives you the upper hand because they know you're going to be doing good without them. They know you're going to be doing good without them. It gives you the upper hand. They don't want you to have the upper hand. They want you somewhere miserable, feeling some type of way. They do. Words can change the world. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat. Said not even two months of moving out after 11 years found, mm, 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 found a new supply. Well, he already had that before he moved out now. Don't say after two months. No, that was already there. New Supply saying God sent God sent certain people to bring out the good in us. Same thing he said to me. I would have laughed right there. Same thing this joker just said to me. That's how you know. That's how you know he lied. That's how you know when a narc is lying. When you hear them say something that they told you before, that's how you know. That's how you know they're gonna take gonna take that other person, gonna take that new supply. Oh man, they're gonna dog the new supply. New supply getting dogged. Okay. New supply getting dogged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man, true two things, bro. Said, I think they need another We Win video before the holiday. Man, we're going to do, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do one just, just like you said, you know, showing our victory. But the AA, hey, hey, true too. 
That's why I love it, man, when y'all share your story because this is what helps so many people, y'all. I'm telling y'all, man, I, if I would have seen a, something like this 10 years ago, oh my God, I can't even imagine. I can't imagine right now what, what, if, what life would have been like 10 years ago had I knew then what I know now. 20 years ago, good gracious. Woo, man. And, and, and honestly, y'all, that's what I'm that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here, man. Because if I can save you 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of total disappointment and setbacks. Woo, Quatavia said, mm, Quatavia said the narcissistic family members ain't no better. They show sure ain't. They show sure it. They just this ratchet. They just this trifling. A lot of the family members be just this trifling. Oh, but you know what? I'm going to say this too, though. Some of the family members, some of the family members know the narc ain't about nothing. And they can't stand them neither. They know the narc ain't about nothing. And they be like, man, who, why did you pick this one? Did you not know what you dealing with? Haka, mm -hmm. thanks for the super chat, Haka. Haka said, it took me two months to cut the narc off. His leftover side dish was so excited that I did. Mm -hmm -hmm. She thought she won. No, boo-boo. I gave say I gave him away like clothes I've outgrown. Mm, mm, mm. Have fun, have fun with my, <laughs> have fun with my hand me down. Have fun with them leftovers. Have fun with it, you know. And you know the crazy part about that Hawkins, she really believed that she got something. She do, <laughs> man. People be really. People be thinking, oh, I got the old because that's the first person that the new supplier comes looking for is you. First person they come in looking for is you. You're the first one they come in looking for. They looking for you because they like, did he run back to you? Because they know the, that's how you know how unstable these people are, y'all. They are. Trish Cook, mm, thanks for that super chat. Appreciate you, Trish. Haka, Haka said, after the narc did all that, he would call me and I would be laughing like nothing was wrong <laughs> because I stopped caring. Wow. And he would try his hardest to upset me. You can't touch God's anointed, boo. You cannot, guys, guys. You know what? At the end of the day, guys, no matter what, you, if the narcissist can only, they can only have power over you when you give them that power. Only when you give them that power. They don't have no power over you. And when you find out, they're afraid of you finding out that they don't have power over you. That's the narcissist, one of their worst fears. Please don't find out and figure out that you're stronger than me. Please don't figure that out. Woo, man. Hey, Haka. She wearing, she wearing your old school joints like, yeah, yeah, what now? I got him now, and he happy. And they be serious, though. And they, and they acting like that. And that's, you know, when they act like that, that's telling you that he already got somebody else. And they're trying to act like that because they think that he's running back and forth with you because he's telling her that you're the one still chasing him. Oh, yeah, yeah. She called me today, man. I'm just, I'm just over it, baby. I'm just done with her. I don't want to be bothered with her. I'm just over it. That's, what, that's the lie that they're going to tell. 
the lie that he's going to tell is, I'm the, oh, no, nah, she, she won't leave me alone. I can't get rid of her. I'm tell, that's exactly what he's doing. He's somewhere telling her that he can't get rid of you. And, guys, when they're blowing your phone up, they're telling the new supply you're blowing their phone up. Oh, man, they, just, they you know. He just can't get it. He just won't get it through his head. Or she can't get it. She can't get it together. I don't know what their problem is. April Moore. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat. April said, the mother of the narc said to me at first, <clears throat> at first intro, oh, <laughs> oh, no, he don't like to pay bill. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Woo, man. And his mama said that. He don't like paying bills. His mama told you he don't like paying bills. You should have ran right there. Shaking my head. I should have ran right there. <laughs> Say, if I'd have known what I know now, I would have been, I would have kicked my shoes off and started running. <laughs> Remember how you was little? You kicked them shoes off. You can run fast with those shoes on. Woo! They act like they hate each other. Mm, mm, mm. And they should. Because they probably do. Mom's just told it. Girl, he ain't going to pay nothing. I don't know why you messing with him. <laughs> Woo! Good grace. My main man, True Two, thanks, Chan, for the super chat. Tutu said, after the Narch family got involved with our lives, they saw that they saw that I was good and the Narc was evil. They always know that, though. They always, dog, they knew she wasn't about nothing when y'all met, Joe. They knew. People, listen, that is not a, that is not a public service, not a news flash, not a public service announcement. Their family know they ain't no good. Their family sitting there looking at you thinking, how in the hell do you, can you, can we call this person intelligent if you dealing with this bum? The, the family been new. The family knew the whole time. Say, I tried to get along with them, but realized no. Man, I'm telling y'all, Y'all want to get to know who y'all dealing with? Y'all really want to get to know who y'all dealing with? Y'all need to go around their family and talk to their family members. Hey, hey, what's up with us? You know, so, yeah, you know, because somebody going to tell it. <laughs> somebody going to let the cat out the bag. <laughs> Woo! Woo, Lynn says she, in her lifetime, she survived two knocks. Woo, whoever doubted themselves. Please believe. Push through. Tell them again. True Two said they changed my whole life. I had to take sole custody of my kids. Mm. And they almost got me in jail. Uh, and killed. You can't see good in people who saw bad. Guys, hey, you can't. You can't, man. You trying to see good in somebody, and that's the part that gets you. That's the part that keeps you pulled in. Is that you saw potential. You ain't see that they were good people. You did not see that. You saw potential, and you ran with it. You saw potential, and you was like, I could build with this. You know what I'm saying? They kind of cute, and yeah, we can work this out. And as you got to know them, you started to see, like, whoa, 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 hold it. And the worst thing that they ever showed you, you know, something that you probably going to keep to yourself because at the end of the day, guys, they don't, at the end of the day, you don't want anybody even knowing how the lows that they've taken you to. That's all of our worst nightmare, the lows. I'm telling you, I know it, it is for me. I ain't going to lie. Andrea, thanks for the super chat. Woo. 
Andrew said, after no contact, how do you succeed and heal? Woo! That's the thing, Andrea. I trusted it. I trusted that person. I trusted that she showed me how trifling that she was, how dirty, how backstabbing. I, I trusted her when she showed me I would do anything to you. I would do anything to disrespect you. That's I trusted her. I trusted her and I believed. See, this is the thing, guys. The one thing that I knew was that good people, y'all keep giving this not credit for going to the next person and turning into somebody different. Good people don't dog people. Good people don't dog people. I'm going to have to put that on my Instagram. Good people don't dog people. Good people will get out of a relationship with you. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not even going to say that good people won't cheat on you. But good people will not dog you. And what I mean by that is it might be a good person and they may have just not felt the same way for you that you felt for them. But they're not going to drag you. They're not going to dog you. They're going to get out of the relationship the right way with you. They're going to say, hey, you know what? I, I, I really don't feel this, you know? I'm really not feeling this the way you're feeling me, you know? And, and I don't want to hurt you. I know I'm going to hurt you. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this. You know, I'm going to get out of this because I don't want to bring that karma on myself. Really, a good person isn't even going to lead you all the way down into that, knowing that you really love them and they know they don't love you. See, when you're dealing with a monster, they're doing stuff on purpose to hurt you. And when I saw that I was dealing with that, see, I just trusted it. I, I, I was like, hey, I believe you. I believe you, you are just as sorry and as trifling as you showing me you are. I believe you. I absolutely believe you. And it wasn't even painful after that. It wasn't painful. It was like I knew for many years I had to give something up. So I, I, I got to be real with you guys. I knew for many years in my situation that I wanted out. You know, I knew that it wasn't good. You know, it, it was it was bad. It was bad. OK, so. You know, it was just like. When the opportunity presented itself, I just looked at it like, man, please. And I'm not going to say that I didn't ruminate because I did, because that's a part of it. You do ruminate. You know, but the thing is, is when you take the pain out of that rumination, you're going to still think about the person. But the issue is, is it going to be painful? If that person really loved me, that person was really a good person, then, yeah, it would be painful. It would be, I, I would have did everything I could to stay in it. If it was salvageable. But you can't force anything to work that doesn't work. You know, so, you know, no contact for me meant it meant my phone is not going to ring and it's her. It meant my inbox isn't going to get a message from her. No contact means if, if, if she does call, she got a call from a different phone. She got a call from a different phone. You can't call from your regular phone no more. Nah, because I don't talk to you. Because I don't deal with you. And I'm going to tell you, when you know certain people can't call your phone, you don't get nervous when your phone rings. See, when you don't have that person blocked, you get nervous every time your phone rings. Because you're wondering, damn, is this them? And I'm going to tell y'all, man, just from personal experience, the best thing that I did was no contact. The best thing that I ever did in my entire entanglement was no contact. You know why? 
I'm going to tell you. <laughs> because the beauty in that whole situation for me was that I got an opportunity to empower myself, to show myself that you could do this. You had let that thing in your life stay around you for so long. But now, look at you. Look at you. Look at you now. Look at you now. You all those years that you went through that craziness and look at you now and going no contact showed me that. Man, you're no longer betraying you. No contact showed me that I was no longer betraying myself. It showed me that now I'm on the right track. I'm doing the right thing. I'm cutting people off that are trying to bring harm to me. The people I care about the most. That's that's power, y'all. That's strength. I'm telling you, that's how we leaving out of the huddle tonight. No contact. Everybody showing everybody in the in the huddle. There's no contact. I want y'all to show love and peace. We're gonna show the peace sign and the love sign tonight because that's what it puts in your life when you go no contact. You have empowered yourself. You have empowered yourself. You're no longer sitting there at somebody's mercy, wondering what's going, what's next. You are, you have the power now. You have the, you have the power. The narcissist is trying to figure out how they can get you back now. You don't went off and got powerful. Why? How you do that? What you're not gonna let me back in to manipulate you, to lie to you, to cheat on you, to steal from you? That's all the narc wants to know. They like, come on. It was it's always been so easy for me to just dominate you. And now you standing up for yourself. You have a boundary. Woo! That's right, Miss P. Healthy people will, are not out here trying to destroy you. Good people are not going to try to destroy you. They're not. Good people will never try to destroy you. Anybody. I ain't going to say do good people will never do bad things. I'm going to say they're not going to do it on purpose. They're not going to be purposeful about doing something bad to you. Not good people. They just be good people don't do that. And when you see that this person is doing stuff like that to you and they know what they're doing, then guys, you got to trust them. You got to trust them and you got to believe them. They ain't no damn good. Trust them. They ain't no good. It ain't no good in them. And you're not going to get any good out of that. I'm telling you, you're not going to get any good. You're not going to find one of them this. Mm, mm, mm. Trust them. Trust that he has shown you who he is. Trust him that he showed you his best and his best wasn't worth a damn. See, that's what I learned. I knew. I don't seen you at your best and your best ain't worth a damn. And I had to make a decision. Do you got to make a decision, y'all? Is this all I want in my life? Is this all? Is this it? This the happiest day I'm going to have? Man, hell no. Hell no. This is not the best day I'm going to have with this garbage over here. Hell no. Man, I'm better than that. Man, I looked myself in the mirror and said, Slim, you must have forgot who you are. Are you crazy? You don't reduce yourself to this? Man, hell no. Hell no. No. 
nah, 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 nah. Loneliness don't hurt that much. If I was lonely, but but guess what? See, that's the first thing we think in our mind. If I, I I've had to be lonely, you the loneliest you're ever gonna be in your life is with a narcissist. The loneliest you'll ever be in your life is gonna be with one of them. There's never gonna be a time in your life worse than that or lonelier than that. That's the first thing you're going to learn. Damn, I ain't lonely. Wow. Angie Grimes. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Angie. Angie said, that family don't tell you because the family don't tell you because they don't want them either. Family be lying too. <laughs> Angie said, the family be lying too. They be giving it up like, nah, we ain't you ain't keeping that crap on me. Angie said attempt number 12. Hey, Angie, you got to keep doing it till you get it right. It's all good. It's all good. Listen, it takes a little time before you figure it out, but you'll be all right. Woo, hands with the golden dove said, I booked a flight to Africa in January. Bye-bye, mama. Me and your grandkids. There you go. There you go. Take yourself somewhere nice. Do something nice for you. Tell them, Nikki F. Yeah, change that number. Hawker ain't playing. Hawker. Thanks for the super chat. Hawker said the knock started calling me woo, from text now apps <laughs> and other people's phone because I would send him to voicemail. Changing my number was the best move for my sanity. See what I'm saying, y'all? See what I'm saying? When you block that number or change that number, they ain't got no choice but to go in a different direction. But you know you ain't calling me from that phone. And if you do get to me, I can hang up right on you. Hanging right up on you. I mean, man, true too. Said <clears throat> when you take control of yourself, you become the game changer, and you change and you stop the games. Woo! That up, you stop the games that are mentally and emotionally affecting you. Man, Joe, you ain't never lied, man. You change the game, y'all. It's all about you. This is all about you just being in control of your vessel. That's it. <laughs> Cola Nikki Nicola said, if I never see you again, it will be too soon. <laughs> he got the mad face. What'd you say, Heather M? Say, our two-year-old has pneumonia. And he was bashing me for still nursing her. Wow. It's affecting, it's affecting ne you negatively. <clears throat> I don't understand. If it, com if it comforts her, why are you making me feel bad about it? Heather, you know what, honestly? Because there's some sick people out here. Then he probably feel like that's attention he should be getting. That's real. That's how many. I told y'all they trifling. They trifling. April more. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the super chat, April. April said, when I heard the Holy Spirit say, if you don't leave, you're going to be dead. Mm. I really got serious because I was scared. And I heard clearly, and I was fed up. That's deep. That's deep. You heard it. You know it. You better listen to it. Haka. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat. Haka said, actual loneliness is better than feeling alone with somebody you're supposedly with. 
get rid of that person. They're just taking up space. Make room for real. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Make room for real love for yourself and your true partner. All y'all sitting there holding up space in your life with this narc, you're, you're blocking your blessing. You're blocking your new partner because you can't let go of the old thing. You can't let it go. You're showing yourself right now. You're showing you. I ain't ready for the love of my life. Not for real. I ain't going to meet the love of my life. And this, 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 this no good degenerate piece of you know what is the actual love of my life. You holding on to the one thing that's stopping you from happiness. Come on, y'all. We bigger, we better. Everything, we much bigger and better than this. Hey, guys, we're going to wrap it up right here tonight. We're going to get back in here Wednesday night, and we're going to do what it does, and we're going to show all, all the narcs. <laughs> We're going to show all the knocks in, in the world that we not playing with them, y'all. We not playing with them, y'all. I want everybody to have an incredible week. Remember, we're headed into the holidays. Guys, we're headed into the holidays. It's time to y'all. We got to walk through this smoothly. We want to make this as smooth as possible. Okay, I know this might be the first time do some holidays for some of y'all. We gonna be, I'm gonna be here with you. We gonna be together, so y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. It. Thanks everybody for hanging out tonight. Yes, indeed, it was another beautiful night. And guess what, y'all? We coming back on Wednesday night, Hump Day. We gonna drag this knock again. Can we get love, peace, and happiness? in here before everybody leave out can you put some love in the chat there we go there we go thank y'all peace and soul train <laughs> hey listen guys i got a facebook group it's not synonymous 101 the empath tribe and also if you need to reach out to me if you need to talk with me you need a session with me one-on-one because -on -one, somebody driving you crazy man you better hit me up go on my website hurry yo over the top international.com we're gonna talk about it see y'all on wednesday all right as usual hey i'm gonna keep giving y'all the love y'all give to me man thank you i appreciate every last one of y'all like share subscribe the whole thing See y'all Wednesday.